morning, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. And we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of welterweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Boom Boom's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. Dynamite's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Round one of 12. A solid left hand by Dynamite. Missed the target with that hook. Way to block there. Side to side. Step back counter punch there. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Dynamite. Dynamite's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Boom Boom. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Nailed by a huge uppercut. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Halfway through this round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Shot blocked. Well placed shot. Came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. It's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Good looking counter punch. What's the hook? Final ten seconds. Good job. Let's do it! 
Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. If you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches at me. Here we go. Round two is underway. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Dynamite's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. A well-played boom, boom, stunned and staggered. The young brothers out. It is raining punches here. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes: after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Parries that punch away. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song. I can do anything. You can do only better. And he's holding. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. A stabbing right hand comes in by Boom Boom. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Boom Boom. Where's the body kick? Body shots! Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. That was a great round we just saw, Teddy. And this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. You have to try to score that round. Yeah, I have to score it, but they have to figure out why they both got shaken up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Close round, but the good news, more to come for our audience. You're leaving yourself open now. You're throwing your punches wide. Keep tight, keep tight. You're good? Oh, we need this water up there, that's it. You don't need that, throw that away. Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. Protecting his head well with his guard. Focus! Now he ties up there. That was not well targeted by Boom Boom. 
Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Still not moving enough. Move, move. Oh, what a whiff by Dynamite. Good way to protect the midsection. Hey, oh, he took set. some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Dynamite. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Stay away from those. Well targeted right hand by Dynamite. Dynamite's lacking any control right now. I still think he's not fully recouped from being hurt earlier, yet he's on an offensive assault. Yeah, this is not confidence, but this is desperation. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm gonna look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. All right, keep moving. Relax, relax. We count down the final moments of this round. Dynamite's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. <laughs> not winning. You're not losing, team. We have to throw more than this guy. We can pull ahead. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. He's given up two rounds on Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number four, but I think he's got a pretty bright future in this fight here, knowing that he's gotten to his man. Yeah, he knows it, and maybe more importantly, his opponent knows that he's been hurt. And I can see it already. It's making him a little bit more tentative, so it's making his job a little easier. That's a good block by Dynamite. Dynamite's offense has nearly left the building, but that has a lot to do with the fact that he was hurt earlier. He got tagged. Now he's got to find a way to be defensive, to make sure he survives, clears those cobwebs out a little bit, but he's got to reconnect the offense before it's too late. Now hugging on the inside. Halfway through round number four. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Dynamite's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Boom Boom. 
body. Head and body. Supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Nice defense. Good block by Boom Boom. Boom Boom's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Keep moving. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Dynamite's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warm. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. was hurt. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind, make a miss. Make him pay. Like what I see in there. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by dynamite. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. This round is in the books. 
And it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. <laughs> Unable to make an impact there by Dynamite. Wow! Wow, is this good stuff? What good stuff? He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Parries that punch intended for the head. Dynamite's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. Halfway through round six. <laughs> Dynamite's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. And clicks of the talk. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is it up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight and the kind of fight where you let up for a moment you're gonna lose it beautiful lindissimo beautiful i want another Please round fight. like that this is your fight and with the start of this round the halfway point of this fight and you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Boom Booms just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Unload! 
Good defense just covering up down low. You need to keep that head moving. Left and right, left and right. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Let's see some more head movement. Keep moving, keep moving. Dynamite's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. His opponent has to be getting frustrated here. He had his man down, but now he keeps getting tied up. Look, I'm frustrated watching it. I don't care about his opponent. I don't have any pity for him right now because he's allowed himself to get frustrated and allowed himself to get tired. All he has to do is rotate those shoulders back a little bit, push off a little bit, create room. Keep doing what you're doing! Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And round seven comes to an end. Looking good. He's tired. He's tired. I need you to cut this guy off. Start moving your hands. One, two, threes. One, two, threes. All right? More than one punch out there. More than one. We're in a fight now. Throw punches. You got me? We're in a fight. Start of round number eight. It's been an interesting one so far. He finds himself down even though he has scored a knockdown. Yeah, and he deserves to be, Joe. After that knockdown, he went to sleep. He just stopped working. He missed with that headshot. You're doing great! Focus! Boom Boom's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Dynamite. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Jump on him. Nice. Nice work. Nice work. And there he counters back against his opponent. Let it go. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Punch, punch. Keep moving. Keep moving. Focus, 
not much action as he just ties up. Boom Boom's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Here's something that's the key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Go, King, go! Dynamite's punch is far off the target. Walk counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here now. We're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output, he's staying sharp defensively, you know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. Keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> you got this one. You see him holding on. That hook was well off the mark. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Dynamite's mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Things were going against him. Now the tide is turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered, good things are happening. Body shot, body shot. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Halfway through the ninth round. Just holds on there. <laughs> Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Dynamite's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant, just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. Engages in the clinch. Last ten seconds of the ninth round.
Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. Uh, you gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Don't worry about it. Just get it. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Keep your hands up. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Nice block. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. So this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Boom Boom. Boom Boom's employing one of the three facets of good fundamental defense. And right now he's using the legs. Yeah, he is, and that is one of the facets. The other's to block, the other's to move your head. And right now he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get into a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. Nice work, nice work. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Keep moving! Keep moving! Shot up top. That's it, just like that. Left and right, left and right. Coming to the end of round number ten. 10 seconds to go. <laughs> boom, boom! Smacked oh, by a oh, left hand. Dynamite's moving. gaining momentum and starting to pour it on. And round doing? 10 comes to an end. Don't worry now, all right? I just need you to focus and keep your hands up, keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good, I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. Relájate, relájate. Relax, relax. You're okay, you're okay. Round number 11 here, and I'm looking at your scorecard. Boom Boom's hope for winning this fight, not yet cemented. He still has a lot of work to do. No, that cement takes time to settle. You know, it takes time to set. And you can still move things around while it's still soft. It's up to his opponent. Does he want to move things around? How much does he want this? There you go. Keep moving. Keep moving.
blocks that belt line well. Uppercut! Uppercut! You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through this 11th round. with a left hand. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. <laughs> you got this one. Boom Boom's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. Keep working the yap. Good, good. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Oh! Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Listen, you can't let this go to the scorecards. You have to knock him out. I mean, it's the only way now. Let your hands go. Let him go. It's over. He's tight. He's got nothing left, okay? Just... This has been a real good one tonight. And now it comes down to this. The final round. Hey, you got some of that too. And now go. just wasting away some time with that clinch. Focus. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Beat him to the box! Unload! Oh, yes. hey, boom Boom showing you a little defensive oh. skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Go, go, go. <laughs> well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Way through this 12th and final round. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good job protecting himself. A minute to go in the fight.
dismisses his opponent's headshot. Last 10 seconds of the fight. And we send it up to the ring at the end of this fight to hear what the judges had to say. So a unanimous decision win by Boom Boom. And that's the way we saw it all night long. The judges agree. It was hard to see it any other way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.